Look, y'all. I got five subscribers. Yeah, I know. Five. whoop de doo That ain't nothing. I know. But it's something to me. When I get 10 subscribers, I'm going to be turned. I'm going to be yurt. Lord, don't let me get 20. 100? <laughs> Welcome to the Denisha Blue Show. I'm your host. And I just had this random thought. I was like, you know, like, because I'm always worried about what people are gonna think, what people gonna say about me. And I was like, yeah, and I was in my head. I'm thinking, I get so tired of people saying, "Oh, well, they talked about Jesus." And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, "But Jesus ain't care. Jesus did not care. Think about it. If you're the son of God, the a king, you can talk about me all day." And then I was like. Oh my God, oh my God, we are children of the king. So it's the same thing. Like, so I I shouldn't care, right? I shouldn't care what people think about me. I really shouldn't care at all. You know? And I just had that random thought in the shower and I was like, wow, I'm going to share that with somebody. So I'm just going to turn this into a vlog. So, um, I got paid today and it was a decent amount. I got two thousand dollars when I only did three runs, so that's that's really really good, actually. Um, what's going on over here? Yeah, so that's really good. I can't even complain. For me, having done that, see, that's why I was like, you know, just trust the Lord, to trust God, trust God. Mm, this little hairdo. This shit started getting tight. I hate when you do your hair and it's fine. And then, like, a couple hours go by and it start getting tight. Like, hold on, baby. Now, my hair is, like, super... Probably because it's super dry. But, yeah. I'm just about to get up, make my bed, and head home. So, I got 573 miles till I am um, in Alabama. When I get to Alabama, I am going to park. I'm going to drop this trailer. It's going to be 1 in the morning, so nobody should fuck with it. I'm going to drop this trailer. And I'm going to go take these shoes out of my truck, put them in the storage, put some stuff in my storage. I ain't really going to pick nothing up because... It don't really, it don't really matter, like, to pick stuff up or not. But I do want to drop this stuff off. And then, I thought about it because, you know, I'm finna go on a cruise. And I'm like, you know, it really don't matter. Like, if you finna go home anyway, you know, you could just wait. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I do need to go to my storage because I need to get that hair out of there. Because me, I don't like to do a style for the first time when I'm finna go out of town. Like, I want this style to be, like, done did it before we're done, you know, because I don't want to be, you know. But then, you know, sometimes you'll do something to your hair, and then you can't duplicate it. But I'm finna try to do something, a certain style of my hair, so I want to go get that hair. And um, get these some of these shoes out of my truck, because I got, like, five shoe boxes on top, my top bunk. And um, the dog need food, so it worked out perfect. So I can stop through there, get him some food, and um, yeah, I think I actually might set up a, a grooming appointment like right now. Actually, let's do that, y'all. I'm looking for my friend, and I cannot find him. His name is Brandon Thompson, y'all. I cannot find my friend. If you see this, brand, I hope you're doing all right. And God bless you for the show. Yeah. Knowing you, I know you good. So, it's all good. But I'm thinking about you, big dog. Hi, thank you for calling the Hoover Best Bar Room and Swan. How can I help you today? Hi, I was calling to see if you guys had any available appointments. For today, no, ma'am. For tomorrow. For tomorrow? Yeah, I just need a bath. Yes. 
Yeah. Do you have any groomers available? We do not have any groomer appointments available tomorrow. Only mm. have his fast appointments. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to book him for the bath? Yeah, you can book him for a bath tomorrow. Oh, one o'clock, that's too late. Um, well, I appreciate it. All right, sorry about that. That's all right. That didn't work. So, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I'm gonna have to book, leave him an appointment somewhere. Um, my mama. I'm gonna actually call her and tell her that I'm gonna leave him with her. And, um, can she take him to go get groomed? That's what I'm going to do. But, yeah, I'm finna wake up, make my bed, and stretch, and go. We're going to go for a rain, and then I'll be back. He'll probably be done. Start. No, I wouldn't. He'll be done. Start crying. Like, you know, pass that. You know, jump across that fence. Yeah, and they was yard. Oh, he be at your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What you do? Hey, I'll get ready. That'll give me motivation to go out there and do something with that room. He gonna be there. We're gonna be there. I can probably get into that big lot. Um a big lot. It's a big lots over there where I wanna got that vegan food at. I think it's across the street from Walgreens. Is that a Wawa or a race track? It don't have to be a gas station. It just need to be a big parking lot. Big parking lot. That's, um, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that would be the best. I forgot to update y'all, y'all. We are headed out. I got my hot tea, some pineapples. I'm back eating these pineapples because, man, one time I went to, bought one and that one had hair on the ticket back, bought another one and that one had hair on the ticket, my money back. But yeah, I got some pineapples, a Lunchable high tea and i'm finna drive i just got done running ran around for like 20 minutes just got done running now i'm going to um drive for about five hours and stop taking showers somewhere because where i'm finna be parked at ain't gonna be no shower drop these shoes off in alabama and then head to florida y'all i'm at my little place my um finally made it to the storage and this is my favorite place to get tacos, their future husband. Oh my God. Favorite place ever, it's just so good. Growing up, I'm 27 years old. I'm not 27, I'm 26. I don't know why the fuck I keep saying it. I'm 26. I'm about to be 27 next month. But I'm 26 years old and it's like my whole life I always thought that if I ask 100 people, is this person ugly? This motherfucker is ugly, right? So, now I'm to the point where it's like, we all here doing whatever the fuck we want to do. Not necessarily doing what we want to do, but we're all here on our own path, right? And we're not headed the same place, right? So, if we're on our own path in our own lanes, why does it matter what somebody next to me got to say when we're not even headed in the same direction? Like, you'll, you'll live a miserable life worried about what somebody got to say about you we're in, it's not a race nothing's a race because if it was a race we would all have started in the same place and we would all be headed in the same direction but we didn't start in the same place and we all not headed to the same direction you feel me so it's not a race it's everybody here for their own you feel me on their own journey like and you can't get caught up in what somebody else saying about you and you can't get caught up in what somebody else doing don't get caught up in dwelling on what somebody else doing talk about other people you know what i'm saying you gotta focus on your journey what you doing stay focused on what you doing and as i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself nah, nah, nah. so it's just like that y'all i'm always ashy like always i found my hat i've been looking for this hat all over the tri-state area every time i go to a truck stop and i finally found it hey I don't know. Every time I go in the I'll be like, I want that cat hat, cat hat. Y'all, I finally got it. 
Oh, but you might agree. Yes, my own. Yes. Yeah. And he can do the same for you. He can change your very life. Amen. <laughs> I'm taking you outside, y'all. But I got my head. A bitch can't tell me shit. 50s and hornets. I don't even know how I go. <sighs> Yo, I'm ready for the winter. Got on those tight things. I'm going to get do some boots. Y'all, let me get back to driving. I knew it was a reason why I want this hat so bad. They match with my gloves, y'all. Cat gang cat game i stopped got me some chips some hot fries the blue ones let me show y'all this because i might take y'all down memory lane then y'all might be on them yeah i'm in there got about four hours stop doing 30 shit gonna drink me some tea tea got me some hot water Hot water, 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 hot Never hide. Now, if you love me, won't you? Oh, shit. Hear my plea. Put me on, that's the end of me. Baby, please. Don't you drive me away. Baby, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn. Dude, ain't nothing over here for you. Sheesh. Uh, excuse me. You know you talking your ass off. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna wear the fuck out of this hat. I ain't even gonna hold, hold you. I'm finna wear the fuck out of this hat. I feel like it's best to just have a little bag and hook it up to your little power thing because an actual like trash can in your trunk is ridiculous. You shouldn't be having trash in your trunk. That's just absurd. You doing too much. You dirty. A fucking trash can in your truck, bro. You doing you doing too much. You don't need no motherfucking trash can in your truck. Dude, you thirsty, ain't it? You sitting up there hovering over my water. Yeah, I can't wait to fucking. I can't wait to fucking brush my goddamn teeth. I hate eating candy, but it keep me up, so. All I wanna do, ooh. It's staking him. Get that water, get it, come on. Get down. It's staking him, had to spray some of that. So, bro, this is Fabrizia, Fabrizia, Fabrizia. Get it, dude. Oh, that shit. This shit, all right.
Now they don't want to have nothing to do with me ever since I became a pin. Yeah, I really stopped because I had a fucking air leak. And what it was was my glad hands wasn't all the way together. Like, so my truck was working properly. It's just leaking air. My gauges wasn't going off or nothing, but that's some shit you gotta pay attention to as a truck driver. You got to be more careful. But I got five minutes. Am I finna talk y'all five minutes or am I finna? Or am I finna fucking do what I need to do? I'm finna take this motherfucking hat off. These shoes. Oh, golly. Y'all, I'm blow. I couldn't get them fours. And I was up on time. So what I ended up doing was, see, God know me. Because these fours, they got like paint splatters on them. I low-key don't like that. I just like fours. I like the way they look. But I don't like that. So what I did was, for no fucking reason, because what the fuck do I need white and baby blue, I mean, white and navy shoes for? I went about the sixes. Hell yeah. I want about them six jumps. I ain't gonna lie, because I was looking at them hoes already. And then once I couldn't get them fours, I was like, yep, my friend just gonna get them sixes. Because I figured the reason that the sixes was so stocked is because them foes was coming out. And, you know, why the fuck would somebody want or need two pairs of shoes like that? My next pair, what I'm thinking about getting is them 13s. I want them hoes. Red and white ones on there. I was finna get them, but I already got the threes, so it ain't no point to get the red and white ones. I don't even see them sis. But I'll show y'all when I do my little video. But I'm thinking about these 13s. I got my mouth on them. Y'all, I'm so happy they had this hat. Like, I saw the hat and I was like, I don't want that shit. And then, every time I go on the store, I don't see it. And so that's what make me want the hat even more. So I'm going to all these truck stops looking at these hats. And they ain't fucking got them. Here they go, right here. So that's making me want. I like them. I don't like no motherfucking paint paint splatters on my fucking shoes, bro. I really want these junts right here. These hoes so hard. Then a lot of these shoes, I be trying to buy all the shoes that come out, but it's like, what the fuck are you gonna wear with those? These right here. Oh, they ain't even got my size. I'm going to wait on them. Because I like these, but I don't like that white. Uh, that white throw me off. I don't like that white on that shoe. I don't really care for it. That's why I ain't bought them yet. But when, these, I got to have them. Once I couldn't get them foes, once I saw them sixes, I was like, okay, I'm going to get them. But I was like, mm, I'm going to try to get them foes first just off of, just for the fuck of it. Couldn't get them bitches. But y'all, I'm finna get back to driving. That's all I do is be on the sneak out, bro. That's it. I'm always on the sneak out. Bro, this shit's so funny.
It's the hallelujah. It's the second hallelujah for me. This right here. Hey, hey, I love it. I love that shit. Bye, y'all. I got to go. We got them. I'm at one of the warehouses of um the company that I used to work for, Publix. And it's so weird being here. You know, I worked at this place since 2015. And I just quit. Um. April. It's weird having worked somewhere and learning so much just about work ethic and stuff and just most of my 20s I've been at fucking public so it's crazy being here and I don't work here no more but what the main thing is you know what the reason why I quit is because what I wanted to do with my life I was never going to be able to do it working here. And that's ultimately work for myself. So it's like, it's bittersweet being here. It's kind of weird, but you know, it's all good. I had like butterflies in my stomach driving here, but it's all good. I miss, I miss working for the P. It's cool. It was cool, but it was time to go. It's so crazy. Cause it's like, I have all these feelings, right? But would I go back? Without a doubt, no. I would not go back. There's not even nothing to think about. I would not go back. I'm glad I quit because, you know, like I said in my last video, being out here changed my life. Well, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I didn't even expect to give this information or even feel like this coming here. I really didn't even want to take this run because I was delivering to Publix. And I don't like... I don't know. It's just like... It's like going to a party and your ex though but you gotta go because it's for your friend I don't know it's weird friend being the money in that analogy as far as public goes it's crazy being out here I'm in Jacksonville Florida this run paid a lot of fucking money so I was like shit I don't give a damn and then I'm going to the bottom so I get to see him David so but that's it. I just wanted to express that with y'all. I'm out. I need to see how far I am from my mama house. And if I got time, I probably don't got time. Four fucking hours away. That shit did. Dang. I might try to take my 10 out here. It's bittersweet right now. It's really bittersweet because I don't like being here because this is all I can think about. But I really do miss this shit. I miss this shit, but I would not go back. Like the last, the past year, like every year up until the past, this, this past year at this job has been amazing. But that past year, it was just like, it was just God showing me like, it's time to go. This ain't what I got for you. And if you don't move, I'm going to keep letting you know that it's time to move. So I had to move. But it's like, uh, I've been working at this job since I was like 19. I'm 26. About to be 27. I've been here for a minute, honey. It's so crazy. But. I'm out here trusting God, bro. I'm out here trusting in the Lord. You feel me? All right, I ain't gonna talk about it anymore. No I'll probably talk about it again because I gotta make another delivery to Deerfield. Like, oh. I miss the pee, but I'm not. I can't go back. I miss the pee, but I never go back. I don't. I don't wish I would have stayed. But I miss the pee. But I miss the pee. <laughs> shout out to the pee. Shout out to the niggas that work in that grave shit. That I miss my dog. Hey, same man. I miss them boys, man. Shout out to the P. That's a good ass company to work for. If you ever like your job ain't doing it, go work for Publix and select. Get you some money. Get your CDL and then pray and see what God gonna take you. 
That's what I did. <laughs> the way that happened like that, there was a lot of stuff in between, but that's the short story. But yeah, I ain't start talking about the pee. That's gonna be a whole video. We ain't gonna talk about the pee. We back to a day in the life of me, Blue. I'm taking y'all on this journey. I'm not finna. T- I if you pay attention, you will see where I'm headed. Cause I didn't say where I'm headed. But y'all gonna see where I'm headed, and it's gonna be worth watching. But you feel me? We on the way, and you know, I ain't finna talk about no public no more. But we headed on. We headed somewhere. Not necessarily today, my destination, as in where I'm finna stop loading, but where I'm headed in life. And y'all finna watch me grow, and y'all finna watch me go. <laughs> it's only the beginning. Everything that's happening in your life is necessary for what's about to happen. And also, look, y'all, I got five subscribers. Yeah, I know, five, whoop de doo That ain't nothing. I know, but it's something to me. When I get 10 subscribers, I'm going to be turned. I'm going to be yurked. Lord, don't let me get 20. 100? I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber at that point. I'm here because I feel like I'm an exceptional person and I feel like the world needs to know who I am. Like, I feel like I can make the world better because I want to help everybody. It's not for money. If you chase money, you'll be running forever. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm, it don't matter how much money I make, it's never going to be enough. But... I don't do things for money. If I was doing shit for money, I would stay a truck driver. But I don't want to be a truck driver. I want to give something to my family so that they can have their own business. You know what I'm saying? Family business. So we don't have to go through what we going through. You feel me? Nine and fives and shit. So yes, I'm doing it for the money. But I'm not really doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like... I like YouTube. I'm just here, man. I'm trying to be great. You feel me? And, you know, I'm stepping out here. I'm stepping out here. I put myself out here. And I'm, like, on some, like, and the reason I shared that, you know, don't be worried all people think because I'm really struggling with that. So, like, me putting myself out here is, like, big for me. And when I walk around my head up, like, who are y'all? Y'all are just like me. Like, you know? So... I'm putting myself out here. I'm trying to be great. And I hope that anybody that's um, watching this, that they be on the same thing. You know, you might have started something, finish it. It's never too late to do, to finish it. And it's never too late to start doing something. I'll be like, I started on this YouTube thing late. But if you don't, then you never will. And if you don't, if and if you never do, you're going to regret it. So it's like, you do it. Like, who cares? Like, I feel like it's your life. You're in control of your life. Why, why? be living and unhappy and wishing you would have did this and wishing you would do it what's stopping you what's stopping you is your life like j cole say try before you die i always wonder what if bro that's some real shit like real shit so i'm just here i just i want to make people happy i want to make people happy i want i want god to use me but yeah yeah i just wanted to talk about that and um maybe that was what somebody needed to hear and i really just wanted to show my face because i look i look exceptional i look really pretty i i just try to i try to be happy and i've been real happy lately because it's like i don't know i don't know i'm just on a new journey my mindset is different and I'm just living life and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Lee.